If you ever connect your computer to the internet, then you open yourself up to attacks from thousands of viruses. In this video, I'll compare antivirus software to see which one is the best. A virus is a program or script that accesses and duplicates itself on your computer without your knowledge or consent. Despite the fact that 90% of viruses are written for Windows systems, Mac and Linux systems can contract viruses as well. There are typically two main ways to contract a virus. The first is through physical media like CDs, DVDs, or USB keys and things like that. The second way is through a network or internet connection such as the World Wide Web, torrents, P2P programs, and online games. To protect your computer against physical media, just make sure that you know exactly what's on a disk or USB drive before putting it on your computer. Also make sure that you know who's on your computer at all times and are aware of what they're doing on it. Lastly, you can make sure that your computer has a strong randomly generated password on it such as the ones that you can make here. This makes it harder for password cracking applications to crack them. To protect against network and internet viruses is a bit more difficult. The first thing you want to do is close any open unused ports on your computer because hackers tend to log into other people's systems through these unguarded ports. And to do this you want to install a firewall application on your system and make sure that it's updated and active. Next you want to secure your internet connections. To do this check your browser security or safety settings and make sure they're set to your liking. Also don't use P2P or torrent programs unless you know what you're doing and know exactly how to use them. But even if you do everything right it's still possible to get a virus. So this is where getting rid of the virus becomes key. And to get rid of it you need a good antivirus program. But with so many out there, it's hard to tell which one is the most helpful. So let's take a look at the major antivirus programs on the market, both free and paid, and see how they stack up against each other. When choosing an antivirus program, there's three main things to look at. One, performance, or how badly it slows down your computer. Two, known virus detection, or how accurately it identifies known threats. And three, unknown virus detection, or how accurately it identifies unknown threats. You can find the test results that I'm basing these statistics on at www.av-comparatives.org. The performance of an antivirus program is based on four things. Time it takes to boot up, file copying, scanning multimedia content, and scanning zip files. Here's the top five based on those averages set at their default settings. Now one thing that this test didn't take into account is how often a program scans for viruses. Because the more unnecessary scans a program does, the more it slows down your computer. If this was taken into account, programs like Symantec and VBA32 would be dropped a little bit lower than where they're at now. This test is pretty cut and dry. It measures how many viruses a program detects and how quickly and accurately it detects them. Here's the top five based on the results set at their default settings. But with this, you have to keep in mind that sometimes virus scanners detect things that aren't viruses. This creates what's called a false positive, or something that is branded as a virus but really isn't. This includes things such as registry editors, screen savers, photo applications, openoffice.org applications, DVD applications, and some portable applications. After adjusting for false positives, the results look more like this. This test measures how accurately a program can identify unknown viruses without having to update. This is helpful since new viruses are created every day and it's nice to know which programs can keep up. Here's the top five results with the program set at their default settings. Again, after adjusting for false positives, here are the results. Now for the overall results. As you can see, some programs did well in some tests, but not as well in others. For instance, while Symantec is the best for finding known viruses, it's not as good at finding new or unknown viruses. So here are the top five programs that scored highest in all three categories. Out of these five programs, you're guaranteed to get the best overall experience. 
But if you're like me and you want the best bang for your buck, here's the same results based on price. I hope this helps you out when choosing a virus scanner. And again, these results were based on the tests at av-comparatives.org as well as my own experience. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.